I think the NBA don't like me. They don't like me at all, I don't think, because of the way I am. I'm, I'm very free, independent, and uh, carefree at that, and they don't like that. But uh, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm doing what I have to do to win, and uh, it's working for me. Sports Illustrated says you don't give a flying halter top what your peers or employers in the NBA think about you. You're right, I don't. I always said at least if we wearing diapers, not uh, pants. Will you adjust your games if the refs call it tight tonight? I'm not adjusting anything. You don't like the way I play, kick me out of the league. Dennis Rodman's focus has been a question. Last week on the show, you probably read between the beeps or read his lips during Rodman's post-game tirade that led to the Bulls suspending him two games. Like I said, the, the, the chains have been pulled by Derek Garrison, the head of the officials, and uh, uh, whatever his fucking name is, that, that guy sits up there, I don't know what's fucking doing, Thorne, Thorne, uh, Thorne, Thorne, David Thorne is in my ass, so... <laughs> All right, words of Dennis Rodman, who uh, obviously isn't worth talking to tonight, right? <laughs> well. Jeez. In a game where Dennis Rodman was ejected for technicals in that contest, afterwards, a scathing tirade against the league and officiating. This is part of it, a toned-down version. It's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. When you sit there, I do this. I do this. I mean, you can't do anything. I, I mean, it's sad. It's really sad how this league has turned out to be. You know, David Stern's got all these referees, and they, the other girls got these referees wearing diapers. They can't be mad themselves and make a call and stand up for themselves. I can't believe that. Well, uh, Dennis also talks about David Thorne, which I guess is a hybrid between David Stern and Rod Thorne. And it doesn't matter because they're both probably going to call him with, with fines. But what, what's going on with Dennis? He's got a little pressure on him from all over, is not he? Yeah, he does. And he may have a point about getting a quick tease. One guy bring this pyramid, this kingdom, Caesar. David Stern down from his throne. How can you do that? Ain't no way in hell. He's got all his Romans right there trying to spear me in the back, you know, as much as he can, and say, okay, great, you do it again, we're gonna feed you to the Lions. And those Lions are those three damn referees with the striped shirts with the whistle in their mouth. Okay, so that's basically what it is. Other than mixing the Lions with the Zebras, that was an excellent metaphor. Okay. Extended out there pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Not as dumb as your people think I am. <laughs> it's okay. David Stern's gonna do something with Dennis Rodman as usual. Suspension, a, a fine, a heavy fine, but I don't give a damn. You know, me and David Stern's need to clear our differences. And um, I, like I said last night, let's get into a ring. He get naked, I get naked, let's go ahead and, and get it on, brother. If it was winning, it would have been that Well, as long as you don't bend over, you're all right. <laughs> the guy should not be allowed back in the league. Just look at him for crying out loud. He's just a circus act. It's an embarrassment. I don't know how much more David Stern can take of this, but knowing Dave, he'll probably just shrug it off and what have you. He's got to live with it. Dennis Rodman, troubled young man. If you get a close-up of the uh, shoulder area, he's got a couple of neat tattoos on. <laughs> That's been the talk of the camp in Detroit. There it is. Yeah, you can see it a little <laughs> bit there on his left shoulder. There's the other one. <laughs> Gosh. That's a lot of verbiage. Are there on your arm, is tattooed or are those written in? I don't know. I was doing tattoos for anybody thought about doing tattoos. I was going to David Stern's office in New York. He said, if you do any more tattoos, we're going to kick you out. That just threw the fire right there. I said, okay, great. I would have got a tattoo that night. Then I just kept getting tattoos, piercings. The controversial bad boy of the Chicago Bulls is giving the old-fashioned clean-cut image of the pro athlete a major facelift. In the way he colors his hair, the way he pierces and paints his body, and the way he dresses. NBA said, wait a minute, we got something here. We got something with this guy, because everyone started to love it. <clears throat> Back then, guys didn't have tattoos. Rodman's being recognized for more substance than style, yet he remains a trendsetter. I got tattoos and piercings, and it's, it's, it's a great stat here that now you see a lot of athletes, especially basketball players, are getting tattoos all over. And the wires there. Be like Dennis. Yeah, get away. <laughs> Rodman, during the discussion, makes contact with his head. The league on Friday issued an automatic one game suspension for what they called the headbutt. Fine Rodman 5,000. But Dennis proclaimed his innocence later, saying this worm is being baited by the NBA. Why they pick it on me? You know, I really don't care, you know. And I don't live for the NBA. I don't like, I don't kiss nobody's ass. I did not hit butt stopping at all. That's bull****. I admit to something, but I didn't do that. You know, I went up there and talked to him, but I did not hit but I think if I would have hit Buck Stockton, I think I would have been thrown out right there. You know, I didn't I did not do that. People look, for some reason, they look at something that I do 
to, you know, to, to really piss me off. But they're not going to piss me off. I'm going to smile, you know, and keep right on going. And they want to keep scoring me. Hey, go ahead and do it. With four rebounds, ten minutes he's played, and now he's going to try to plead his case. And it's Ed Bernard. Oh, 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 oh. I looked like he had butted up. If he did, I don't know. Thorne, the director of operations of the NBA, in charge of the rules of the game, will be looking at the tape of tonight's contest closely. Back in the locker room, Rodman is in a talkative mood. Perhaps too talkative. Rod Thorne, David Stern, suspend me, okay? You guys are so big, suspend me. Careful what you ask for, you might just get it. Look at him, go crazy. My butt in my butt him, suspend me. Rod Thorne, David Stern, suspend me, okay? You guys are so big, suspend me. I've asked David Stern and Rod Thorne to come to me man to man, face to face, and give me the rules and regulations between me and the league and the rest of the players in the league. I mean, but you got Charles Barkley, can cuss a referee out from the time he get out of his bed until he goes home and make love to his wife, and then he won't say anything to him. But if I do anything, just go look at a referee, damn, he thinking I'm trying to cuss him out or do something to him. You know, the heck with that. I mean, it's just getting really ridiculous. You know, I've been a good boy. What do you think? Well, Rodman's suspension is the third longest in NBA history. His $20,000 fine is five grand less than the maximum under the collective bargaining agreement. Rodman won't be eligible to play until April the 2nd at Miami. And by the way, Charles leads Rodman in technicals, 25 to 23. Dennis Rodman sat out the first game of a six-game suspension for headbutting official Ted Bernhardt. This morning on his Chicago radio show, the worm again took aim at Commissioner David Stern. I want to talk to him face to face face to face and I want him to look at me in my eyes and say Dennis you cannot do this you cannot do that and I will put something on in, in his face on the table and say what do you mean I cannot do this what is the difference between me and everybody else in this league now by the time the Bulls gather for shoot around today Rodman was sounding a bit more contrite here's Craig Sake with Dennis Rodman suspended Scotty Pippen injured and Michael Jordan too exhausted to practice the Chicago Bulls suddenly look vulnerable Today at practice, Rodman joined the rest of his teammates and issued a statement. I want to apologize publicly for my actions. I was wrong in making contact with any NBA official. I deserve to be punished, although I do believe they are too severe. For Rodman, the cost of a headbutt is over $200,000. But for the Chicago Bulls, the price is an uncertain future, and it is now up to Phil Jackson to handle his stray wolf. It's quite obvious if you lose two hundred thousand dollars due to fines, you think that you're being picked on. Anybody would. It's pretty natural. Uh, but you have to come to terms with that, and you have to understand the severity and what what brought you to this point. And when you can deal with that, it's like, well, it's like anything: alcoholism, drug addiction, whatever you go on to talk about. It's first understanding your own self-involvement in it. Dennis is always a low boy. There's no doubt that he's always going to be out there by himself in some just form or fashion because of who he is. But. Uh, Dennis is also a teammate, and it's kind of a strange uh, symbiotic uh, uh, relationship between Dennis and his teammates. And I think one of the things that, you know, I think he understands is that he's not alone in this. We're here for him. We want him to be around the team. And, uh, you know, we want to make progress around this thing so it doesn't happen again, particularly when it's more critical points in the season. Now, if the worm thinks six games is severe, he should know that Rod Thorne in the league office had considered a suspension for the rest of the regular season. And the thing that really got the guys in New York was the fact that he tried three times to butt the head of Ted Bernard, grazed him twice before finally making contact, Rich. Well, Ernie, you know, it's Dennis's history that really made the NBA's fine so severe. I mean, in 93, he had butted Stacey King. In 94, John Stockton. So in many ways, he's very lucky that they didn't go ahead and make it for the whole season. Last week, we were talking Mood. This week we're talking the worm. Next week, the comeback of Reggie Theus, perhaps. <laughs> Even without the injured Scottie Pippen and the suspended Dennis Rodman last night, they got win number 58 in Philly as Michael went for 38. <laughs> and we'll have the latest on the worm, who is again challenging the NBA brass. As we mentioned, Dennis Rodman suspended. He apologized publicly today, releasing a statement, but earlier in the day, he challenged again on his radio show, Commissioner David Stern. What did Dennis in this time around, number one, a history of 
this kind of behavior, headbutts on a couple of players in the past, mm -hmm. and also trying three times to get Ted Bernhardt, grazing him twice, and then nailing him with a headbutt. $200,000. That's amazing. That's your league. But <laughs> no. what's your take on this thing? And Michael's kind of gotten on him, too. That might hurt as, uh, not as much as financially the fine <laughs> and the suspension do, but, I mean, when you get Michael Jordan saying, that's stupid, yeah. that's got to register. Well, you know, you have to think that somebody has gotten to Dennis and had something to say to him. That's why he sort of changed his tone. You know, I think that uh, Dennis, the key is right now is if you're going to be a man enough to realize how important you are to the team and the fact that they can still win 70 games and a championship here with Scottie Pippen out, you know, you are very important. Other key is he loves it in Chicago and he's a free agent after this season and this could really solidify him wanting to stay in Chicago. Quest for 70 wins needing to go 8-4 and four down the stretch and tonight the worm returns. Here's Craig Sager in Miami. Well, having served his penalty, served his fine, Dennis Rodman is back for tonight's game against Miami. And Dennis, what have you learned through this six-game suspension? Well, I get a lot more sleep, and <sighs> I can go out and have a good time. But um, it's been a difficult situation for me where, you know, I think that the, the suspension was a little too severe, and I still believe that. Um, I mean, I've looked at games all the last couple of weeks, and guys have done the same thing I'm doing, tossing the ball down, slamming the ball down, but it's, there's nothing been called, so I just got to go out there and ignore it. No more headbutting, obviously, but do you feel like you have to conform to certain beliefs and values now? There's no beliefs and values in this league. It's just what you got to go out there and do it, please the people, and win ball games. And uh, I'm not going out there trying to intensely do anything to harm the, the officials, the players, or my team. It's just, uh, come on. I like to go out there and work hard and, and play aggressive. But you can control your anger, possibly, at the refs? Of course, you know, I can control it. I mean, I think that me and the referees have a good common together. I think that you know, I can complain and they can, they can look at me and complain to me, so, but uh, hopefully they don't take offense to it. Why red hair again? I don't know. So I want red hair. I had to do a commercial. <laughs> okay, good luck. All right. <laughs> Obviously, unseasonably cool in South Florida these days. What's your take on the return of the worm, Cheryl? Well, you know, I don't think Rodman wants a repeat of last season or to be potentially responsible for derailing the Bulls. I think he has a lot of respect for Michael Jordan and his teammates and what the Bulls organization is trying to accomplish. But I think Dennis does realize now from here on out he's going to be playing on eggshells. And if he thought that the officials were being tough on him before, he hasn't seen anything yet. We saw a little something tonight. He did not start but came off the bench and picked up a quick hand check foul about 10 seconds into his first appearance. If I would have meant to hit him, I would have knocked the hell out of him. It was accidental. Whatever the case, the NBA came down hard on Rodman. Are you sorry you did it? I'm sorry the fact that I put my team in, in a bind. You know, I'm not sorry that, that, that the fact that I have to lash out just to get the respect that I, I, I want. So in your mind, another example of them coming down hard on Dennis Rodman? Of course. Because of who you are, of how course. you look, how you act. Of course. Doesn't some of that come with the territory? But it shouldn't be like that. Although Rodman feels constantly picked on, his coach says he just has a bit of a persecution complex. You know by now Dennis Rodman has been suspended for six games and fined $20,000 for headbutting referee Ted Burnout. It'll cost Rodman more than $200,000 in lost salary and fines. Bill Jackson knows Dennis has to learn to control those emotions. When he's on the court, Dennis registers emotion and he plays with a great deal of emotion and sometimes I think it's unwarranted and over scrutinized and I think it's players and what he has to do is accept the fact that he draws attention to himself and by so doing has to be able to control that behavior. They went through the process with Horace Ballmer and NBA security that they would go through in any incident. This was not a case of Rod Thorne or David Stern exacting revenge on Dennis Rodman. It was a mistake that Dennis made. He should admit it. Who did anything wrong last night? I didn't do anything wrong last night. In my honest opinion, I didn't do anything wrong. It's getting too obvious what the league and, and the referees are doing. They're making me a marked man where any little thing that I do is a problem. And tomorrow, people look in the black and white. Oh, he's done it again. He's, he's at it again. What is wrong with that cycle? And then on the sand, though, <laughs> I'm not crazy. I know exactly what's going on. There's no laughing the next afternoon when the NBA announces its verdict. Basketball's most volatile players has been penalized for his behavior. Rodman has suspended six games. The combination of fine and suspension will cost him more than $200,000. It's the third stiffest fine to that point in NBA history, and it may also cost the Bulls their opportunity to win 70 games. 
and Rodman now suspended, there will be no easy games. And while the team seems to hold a winning hand, there is one wild card in the deck. You going to do anything to hurt this team in the playoffs? No, not at all. So what's your goal in the playoffs this year? To do what I always do, play hard and be Dennis Rodman. The headbutt, you know, perfectly acceptable in action movies, but strictly taboo in the NBA. So when Dennis Rodman went head-to-head -head with an official Saturday night, then dared the league to suspend him, well, this story really has no surprise ending. With the Bulls already shorthanded, Robin won't be back in action until next month after his multi-game suspension today. CNN's Mark Morgan in Philadelphia, where Saturday's Raging Bulls sat this one out. Saturday night against New Jersey, the volatile Dennis Rodman finally exploded. After picking up his second technical foul late in the first quarter, Rodman lost it, headbutting referee Ted Bernhardt, then stripping off his jersey and shouting obscenities as he refused to leave the court. The result? A six-game suspension without pay and a $20,000 fine. It's a surprise. I don't know whether it's harsh or not harsh. That's not the uh, the idea. The idea is to uh, present a, a meet just punishment for an act in which the league has to curtail and uh, one that sends and registers a message that's taken for its severity. Initially, he was, uh, you know, visibly very upset and shocked, and fully so, and he felt that, you know, he's being singled out and, of course, they're lashing out at him because of his reputation. Following his suspension, Rodman avoided the media, staying behind in the team hotel as the rest of the Bulls headed to the spectrum. But he has been unable to avoid controversy. Since 1992, Rodman has been disciplined for a variety of reasons, including missing practices, missing road trips, and throwing objects at his coach. His suspension is the third longest in league history, behind Kermit Washington and Vernon Maxwell. The NBA's vice president of operations, Rod Thorne, was very blunt in handing out the suspension. Thorne said, physical assaults on referees cannot and will not be tolerated under any circumstances. Thorne went on to say, the suspension and fine reflect not only the headbutting, but the totality of his actions on the court. No one likes to see that, you know, and I can't sit here and criticize him. I mean, in the heat of battle, we've I've bumped referees, too, and you don't want to, you realize after the point that you, you made a mistake, it's not really good for the game by no means, and I think at some point in time, the league has to make a stand, and they will, and I think it's been evident that they will, uh, to try to alleviate some of the, the outbursts that he may, you know, he may make in the course of the season, and uh, I can understand their concern. Actually, it's not so bad. Dennis couldn't use six games off. He was getting a little tired, and I thought, you know, he's he was stressing himself a little bit, playing hard minutes, and, um, you know, he had a couple situations last week that I thought that he, he showed some signs of, of uh, pushing himself to the edge. Dennis fights for the rebound, tapped it out, and it'll belong to Minnesota. He kicked the cameraman. He was really upset. Really upset. Now, now the man acts like he's dying. I just kicked the camera, and he decided that he didn't want to film anymore. And he thought they had his back and neck and legs and and and, and, and things like that was bothering him. So, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some papers next time I go. <laughs> difficulty sitting down, walking, standing up for this long a period of time. Why? Why would he do this? Why? Why would he kick me? Rodman was fined $25,000 and suspended for 11 games. The incident caused public outrage all the way to the White House. I'm a big Dennis Rodman fan. I mean, I think he's an extraordinary athlete and he's a very interesting man. But I think when he, when he does a destructive thing like that, it's a bad thing. Rodman's reputation was quickly deteriorating. You may think he's crazy, but he knows exactly how much trouble he's in. Sad that this has to come to this. It's a national crisis that I kicked a human being. I've lost a million dollars. I lost a couple hundred thousand dollars to an individual. And plus my reputation, which it wasn't good in the first place, is just getting dragged all in quicksand. Does Dennis Rodman bear any responsibility for the fix you're in now? I, I've, like I said, I've, I've, I've done things that are very, very minor. We won the tape the last Wednesday night when Rodman was fighting for a rebound in Minnesota. He tripped over a photographer at Portsmouth. Then he says, in the heat of the moment, kicked a camera that just happened to be lying next to another photographer. And the photographer is hurt. 
And if you look at my leg, I'm kicking the camera. The camera went underneath his legs, and my momentum on my leg hit his leg. His leg? His leg. It wasn't a groin. If you look at the tape, it's not a groin. If that's his groin, he, he's got to be, he's got to, he, oh my God. <laughs> his wife must really love him. Gene Amos collapsed on the court for seven minutes before being taken to the hospital. By the next day, Amos had a lawyer, and Rodman faced the possibility of a year in jail. The league has suspended him for at least 11 games, which will cost him more than a million dollars. It's the second longest suspension in NBA history, and the league made it clear the punishment was based on Rodman's long history of bad behavior. Don't they have to take into account your, you should pardon the expression, a repeat offender? I am not a repeat offender. There is people in the league that, that trash talk the league, that do certain things. Wait, wait, you, you, you are a repeat offender. Ten suspensions. I don't get paid nine million dollars just to go out there and look good. No, it's entertainment. I got to give you the total package. If I can't give you that, I'm worthless. That is an important point to Rodman. That the fans who now moralize about kicking him out of basketball are the same fans who cheer him on when he's winning games. That's the same thing what happened to me last year. Headbutt official. Everybody said, screw him, screw him. He, I told you he was going, he did it in San Antonio, I told you. But when I won the championship, oh my God, they threw a parade. I jumped on everybody's shoulders. I'm God, I'm King, I'm the Savior. Sign him back, get him back to Chicago. We need him, we need him back. Now it's happening again. Distressed as Rodman is about being forced to miss games, he's even more outraged by another part of his penalty. The league not only fined and suspended you, they also said you must get counseling. I don't need help. Are you going to do what you're supposed to do under the terms of the punishment? If they want me to see a counselor, I'll go see them. We'll play cards. What are you going to tell the counselor? What can I tell them? <laughs> Nothing I can tell the guy. What? I need help. I'm a sick individual. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell him? I'll be lying. The league didn't stop there. Commissioner David Stern said the 11-game suspension is a minimum. We're not going to be reinstating him until he assures us, and we're satisfied, that he can conduct himself in some way that doesn't put others at risk. He says, you got to persuade him it won't happen again. I ain't going to say that. I cannot say that. When I'm on the court, I have no, there's no one else. It's just me and my intensity. I fight that, but I don't lash out on any other players. If it happens, it just means I had a bad day. But if David Stern says to you, Dennis, can you promise me you're not going to have any more bad days, what are you going to say? Well, I'm going to say, first of all, don't treat me like a kid. I'm not your son. You're not my father. But I'd like to thank uh, David Stern and all the NBA uh, community to even just have me in the building. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha